Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Muslim activist trips off hurricane victims, gets brutal surprise from Texans and Mossad. A liberal activist, who backs cop killers and jihadists alike, attempted to cash in on the victims of Hurricane Harvey. This is a horrible individual who cares nothing about hurricane victims. All she cares about is illegally funding various anti-American causes. But, you'll love how Texans and other patriotic Americans made sure that her scheme is shut down, and even the Israeli CIA, called the Mossad, appeared to get involved, delivering a brutal surprise to this fraud. You don't want to miss this. Linda Sarsar, the arrogant anti-American, pro-Sharia, pro-terrorist activist, thought that she found a way to divert funds from the Hurricane Harvey victims to her pet projects. In a now-deleted tweet, Sarsar wrote, Donate to Hash Harvey Relief Fund, with a link to a group called the Texas Organizing Project, or TOP. Right away, Texans and other patriotic Americans spotted her bogus tweet because TOP is nothing but a communistic activist site, which also backs amnesty for all illegal aliens. Thanks to Texans on Twitter who are vetting these criminals out to make a buck off of the disaster, Sarsara's scheme was found out. After other Americans got wind of her heinous actions, the backlash was so swift and brutal, she deleted her tweet and then lied through her teeth about what she had just done. As reported on Twitchy, Sarsara blamed the alt-right. That's right, somehow those who she identifies as the alt-right made her post a bogus tweet for donations for hurricane victims with a link to a hardcore leftist political organization. If that makes no sense to you at all, you're not alone. Then, Sarsar got really upset after she found out that she had lost all her text threads on her iPhone. Apparently, someone had hacked her phone after she tried to divert hurricane donations to top. Frantic. She posted another tweet, and this time, the Israeli Mossad answered. Sarsar hates Israel and all Jews, like the good Jihani she truly is, so this was rather satisfying for those of us who know this Muslim terrorist for what she is. If you're unfamiliar with the Mossad, they are responsible for intelligence collection, covert operations, and counterterrorism, as well as bringing Jews to Israel from countries where official Aliyah agencies are forbidden. Its director reports directly to the Prime Minister. Which makes this even funnier. Granted, this account doesn't have a blue check so odds are it's not really related to the Mossad, but man, that doesn't stop it from being hilarious, reports Twitchy. Linda Sarsar said that Muslims should not need to defend themselves in the media against charges of terrorism, because the root of the problem does not come from within the Muslim community. It comes from a politicized foreign policy of war on our people, reported the Middle East Media Research Institute. Sarsar said, Our top priority is to please Allah, and only Allah. Conservative Review reports, Linda Sarsar, a Hamas tied and prominent women's march leader, Islamic supremacist, and anti Semite, has called for a jihad, Islamic holy war, against President Trump. Addressing the 54th annual Lizna, Islamic Society of North America, Convention, Sarsar delivered a 22-minute screed attacking the Trump administration and called on the Muslim community to unite against the White House. Thank God, Sarsar's sick scheme was exposed, stopping it in its tracks. How this enemy of America remains in this country, I don't know. She talks of jihad against America, and the idiots in the Women's March gave her a top spot to speak. Hardcore leftists like Antifa and the Black Lives Matter work with Sarsar, in a triple threat to our way of life. They'd steal from their own mothers, so hurricane victims mean nothing to them. Sarsar was left licking her wounds after real patriotic Americans kicked her butt, and she might want to get the hell out of this country now that it's known she is nothing but a far-left jihadi-loving scammer. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments.